Low roof vans. You know, we have several of these in the fleet. These three are probably the most common ones. What we want to do now is have a look at the racking and typically how we're going to load some of the materials we use on a daily basis. Uh, start with this one, eh? Oh, well. Well, I'll probably pick the easy one first because this is the electric vehicle. Now, it comes in two sizes, short wheel based and long wheel based. The short wheel base, they'll have the racking like this. You might recognise this from the new combo vehicles. You know, you've got the little trays here where you can bring all the small items in. You've got the, the hook here which you can get them and put them into. You've got the tube there for all of the pipes up to 1.5 metres. Great racking and obviously the space below for the larger stuff. So if you've got the short, short wheel based, this type of racking, you need to watch this link below here. Now, if you've got the long wheel based, you won't have that. <laughs> It'll be more like this. Come here. Here we go. So, two types of racking. You'll have one like this at the angle, or that'll go straight and you'll have more racking at this side. But fundamentally, they're gonna be the same for the loading because you're always going to have this three metre compartment that you can put all the pipes in. So that, that's fabulous that. But the concept of these is that you don't get in. You know, so you can reach most things from here. You've got all the tilt trays here. The, the most thing you'll do is put one hand out to support the body weight. You know, because if you're reaching in like that, you know, this is two thirds of your body weight. You stand like that for any length of time and you'll probably say rude words to me because you'll feel the ache. But by putting the hand down, it supports the body weight. So you can put the hand down there and you get bits and pieces out. 45 degree angle is great for doing that. You've got your USB charging point there, a tray there for the laptops. This is cracking. Look at all the tilt trays here. But again, look, a hand down there for all the small items. Now, if you're vertically challenged like me, <laughs> you might have to stick one knee in the vehicle there like that to get the third tray, or if you've got longer arms, you probably get it from the side door. Heavier stuff like this, like the power flush, they're gonna go in here. But look, there's a handle there, and it's kind of like screaming to say, pick me up by the handle. So that's what we do, isn't it? <laughs> Outside base with a twist, that's gotta hurt. Inside base, isn't it? Look, little tilt like that, there. Push the floor down with both feet so you're in control of the load. Get one end down and then push it in position. You've got loads of these strapping eyes here so you can get it all hooked in and strapped in. But by doing that, it just protects the back of the vehicle. You know, look after the kit, guys, because it looks after you. Let's go and have a look around the side door. Eh? So here we are. Look, there we are. Again, it might just be one little knee in there just to support the body weight. And here's the little tilt trays I've got there. But one thing to bear in mind is there's three doors to this vehicle. So rather than overreaching for something, just nip round to the other door and get it. Everything should be reachable for you. Sometimes you've got some awkward stuff to put in, you know, like radiators, boilers. And again, you could maybe put it in this door, put it on there, pivoted, push it into place, and you've got these lashing eyes to get it lashed down. Remember, you're responsible for the loads that you're carrying in this vehicle. They've got to be secure. Or you know when you've got the straight rack on one, the other version, that power flush goes under the shelf round by here. In fact, while I'm talking about that, let's nip to the other door, have a look as where ladders is there. Well, it should have been there, they've left them on the floor for me. How rude. <laughs> oh, can I just cover this while I'm here though? You know, the amount of times people come and pick things up like that, and I get it because I think it's kind of in the middle and balanced, but it's in front of your feet, so it's got to be outside base. That means double the weight, a straight on the back and a twist. Just come to one end, inside base. Absolute doddle. Little tilt from there. What we do then is just get one end in there. And then just stand them up and get them in. Now, as you can see here, normally you'd push them in, but it's going to hit there. So the idea is, is you get that end in first there. So you can stand it up, change your position, push them in. A little bit awkward, but bear with it. And that's it. So this one, top first, 
in there and then just push it in. But then lash it in. Make sure everything is secure. Do you know the one where you've got the, the two bits of racking, the other one I was talking about? These go just at the other side on the other door on the end of the racking. But there's a great reminder for us because there's a great diagram on the back of the doors and there's also a reminder of what load should be on the shelves. So forget, just have a butcher's at that. There he is, use your guide, use your guide. Just check them, it's great. It stops us from getting overconfident, doesn't it? It's a nice little reminder. But please don't forget, that's rocking as well, isn't it? And getting the ladders down. This is a lovely system. See the yellow lever there? All you've got to do is take it that way slightly and that unlocks it. It'll come out about a metre or so and then want to naturally go down. Let it do it because it's on the gas struts. And I like this because I can actually reach it. <laughs> You're there. But if you can it, don't go hyperextending. All you've got to do is ask. Look, look. It's a proper little gadget for it. Hooks on there, all you do is knock the yellow lever that way with that while it's hooked in there with the inside of it there and see how it's released it and then just pull it out. I'll push it back in place for a minute because I don't need it. <laughs> so there we go, from there and pull it out. However, what's wrong with this picture? Not to do that with the doors open. actually do but if you think about it that means you've got to have the ladders you're going to take them off you've got to go and take them somewhere and you've left the van open that's not what we want to do so let's get that shut then we can bring the ladders off this way so from there let them come down right the way at the floor now you've got three locking mechanisms on this and they should be locked so that one there You've got this sort of wing nut one, and then you've got the seat belt one. So we take all those three off, but look, see this, this D arm here? That's what the ladders are actually sitting on. So what we want to do is there, raise it up, lift them off there, and then we can take them to the job. If we're putting these back on, it's just a simple reverse. Bring the ladders here, inside base, lift up, lock it onto that day arm and then make sure all these three locking mechanisms are in place and it's up and on the vehicle before you drive off now then see these here we need to be inside those as well and finally see the roof ladder see the j curly bit on the top can you make sure that's pointing up because if it's pointing down it makes a right mess of the roof <laughs> I tell you what, it's worth mentioning because it has happened, okay? Simple little things because we get a little bit overconfident. Nice little reminder, eh? And when we're pushing it back, foot facing, two hands, dip and drive. Now then, last but not least. You know, sometimes there's a need to reallocate vans. But for me, it should be almost like say, receiving a brand new one. See, first and foremost, it needs to be clean. And secondly, it needs to have everything in that it should have. So if it hasn't, contact fleet. You know, the trays should all be there. All of the, the bars should be there. Everything should be in place. So give it a good inspection, make sure it's clean and everything's there. It's almost a new van. Let's have a look in here. Well, there's about 500 of these on the fleet and the objective is to carry a little bit more equipment, but they don't if they don't have the trays in place, do they? <laughs> I mean, that's not what you've got to accept. How can I put stuff in if the trays aren't there? So this is where you actually contact fleet and say, hey, my trays are missing. And do you know, it's a little bit dirty, this one. This is not how they would come to you, okay? But a good example of what to look for. Specific places for things, ladders down the side here, but there's one way of putting them in. Come round the back and we'll have a look. There we go. They've got to go in head first. You see, because there's a little lip which stops it going any further, but the actual head of the ladder goes over the top of the lip. Otherwise, the feet will hit it and they're sticking out here. You go and shut the door and there's a right old dent in it. <laughs> so it's always head first. Um, 
lots of racking and just i'm not going to patronize you guys while seeing what goes where J just think about it similar stuff together more regular stuff near the door like this this here the hoover get it in that actually just sits there but make sure it's secure because it might not go in there but the door shuts and this is something we'll have in and out quite a bit isn't it now let's go and have a look at this other side door Well, no big surprises here. Lots of racking and the space at the bottom for the heavier items. But you know those toolboxes? You know the temptation again, just grabbing the toolbox outside base and a twist. Remember to pull a tilt over base and then take, same as putting them in. Get one end down first, that takes the weight, and then push it home. But just think of weight distribution. You know, heavy stuff on the floor, but not all one side of it. Oh. You cannot feel that when you're driving, honestly. If all the heavy stuff's down this side and light stuff that side, you will feel it. So nice, even distribution of the weight. And don't overfill it. You don't need 10 toolboxes, eh? But then we've got the necessary evil, haven't we? <laughs> Paperwork. <laughs> well, there's pouches, but and we haven't shown them because we don't want them to be seen because we don't want anybody else to see them. You know, paperwork is quite sensitive, so get them tucked away in the pouches. You might even have it under the seat. Don't mean under the seat, <laughs> because they might slip and affect the driving. I mean, if you've got the seats that lift up and put them in the storage compartments there. So don't leave things lying around for people to see. It removes temptation. But what a fleet. You know, electric vans, for goodness sake. British gas really are leading the way here. And the, the racking systems, they haven't just been thrown together, it's been designed specifically with you in mind. So it comes to you, so you don't have to go reaching in. Correct manual handling. Brilliant fleet, great vehicles. Look after the vehicles, because they're designed to look after you. Have fun.